what the spread betting companies don't want you to know. Spread betting in itself isn't evil and it can be lucrative if used properly. But you also have to keep in mind that the spread betting industry is still in its infancy with new providers still entering the field. The following video tries to discuss all the bad experiences that have been reported over the past years. Skewed spreads. One practice which is practically extinct is to skew the spreads in the direction of the market move. In other words, if the market is trending rapidly down, most people are selling. So, although the spreads may be the same, the prices quoted will be that little much lower than in the real market, as most people will be selling into a down move. As soon as the market looks as like it's about to recover, the skew is switched the other way around. This can shave several points off a client's profit. However, such a mechanism can potentially backfire. Moving the spread would not only open arbitrage opportunities between the different spread betting companies, but also the Markets in Financial Instruments Directive, passed in 2007, Spread betting companies are now obliged to offer best execution. Barred. Yes, it's not unheard of that accounts be closed for winning too much. The account is not usually closed straight away, but the behavior of the broker can become, in rare cases, less than pleasant if the spread bets placed are costing the spread betting company large sums of money. And this could happen if the instrument the client is trading on cannot easily be hedged by the spread betting provider. Now I refer to this as closing accounts with grace, and I suppose having your account closed down is really a compliment to you. However, we don't support firms that close down winning accounts, so for this reason, we will not hesitate to shame such behavior. Timeouts. Even worse than a recode is a timeout. Some online systems have an hourglass icon, which spins away for what seems like an eon. By the time you realize that nothing is going to happen, you call the dealer's hotline. It's up to the dealer whether you get the price you were originally quoted. Now some companies put a high premium on customer satisfaction and they will give you your original quoted price while others just quote the market at the time. Recodes If the quoted prices are honored by the spread betting company, which is usual in normal markets, all is well. But trouble starts when the market has moved away from the quoted price and the dealer decides to reject your trade and records you with a new price. Once the mouse is clicked, the order screen is frozen. No more trades can be placed. Okay, so that transaction may eventually go through only if prices have moved against me. Otherwise, a recode. Okay, finally the good news. Things have improved. With the penetration of spread betting reaching maturity, it is unlikely that there is a completely new batch of clients ready to tap into. So in the first decade of the 21st century, the financial spread betting companies are likely to concentrate on innovation of products and services. Most of these so-called incidents mentioned before are a thing of the past. Things have vastly improved over the last few years. Competition has lowered spread significantly and the quality of service is improving all of the time. I don't know if the percentage of winning traders have improved over the years. One thing is sure though, the spread and the service have gotten better. Companies that have in the past resorted to sharp tactics are appearing to do it really now, 
as it clearly isn't in their interest to upset their customers and effectively chase them away to other firms which will treat them more equitably. For more information, please visit www.financial-spread-betting.com.